and welcome to, by the title you'll know what it is, Tokyo Ghoul Re E Call to Exist. This you won't, won't, but I just want it to be very clear and very accurate that this game has never been played before by me. And I want to make that clear for a couple of reasons that I'll explain after we actually get to the title screen. Can we save data? Wow, this is not what I expected for a title screen. Or even opening menu. This... Ooh, this is gonna be worse than I thought it would be. So, I don't think this is documented enough on my channel. I like bad anime games. And I don't mean I want them to be bad. I would love for them to be good. I like to play anime games. I literally platinum Kakarot earlier this year. And it's probably one of my favorite Dragon Ball games in recent years. So, I want good anime games. I buy bad ones because I want good ones to eventually exist. I really, this menu system is so bare bones. There's not even character portraits. It's almost weird. Cause they could put PNGs over this background. That just change of here's the main story parts. And maybe it does over time? Seems weird. Okay. Main story. Eye patch. Kaneki. I know the characters. It's been a while since I've played Tokyo Ghoul. Oh my god. Oh, the funding for this must have been very small this is screenshots of the anime i'm pretty sure i haven't watched the anime in a long time and i have issues with the anime not really so much issues with it itself But I'll get into that in a bit while I actually, once I finally get into gameplay. <laughs> Is this. Or did they redraw them? Because I don't remember. It's been too long. It's probably been five years. Definitely since the first episode. Uh, yeah, I'm not reading these. Sorry if you want me to. I will read them for Fire Emblem. I don't care to read them for this. And this is literally just them kind of talking in a diner and going on a day. Okay, that's important. This is the introduction of ghouls. Which are, if you have not seen this anime, or read the manga, I recommend both. Some people just like the manga, and they're, this is where my issues start to come in. But I won't get into that just yet. But both are fine to a degree. And but ghouls are basically monsters. Not I won't even call them monsters. They're beings that feed on human flesh. So yes, to human race they are monsters, but they're they are, are not all monsters. So but they do feed on human flesh, so there is a little bit of, hey, we have to eat you to survive mentality. One thing that always made it seem weird to me is he has a crush on her. She looks way too old for him. <laughs> 
And honestly, I feel like he should be shorter than he is in this image. Yeah. He always seemed childish compared to her. Yeah, so messing around another date. Oh, they are the same age. They do not look it. Their designs do not look it. He is way too baby-faced. And granted, women do at times mature faster. Oh, yeah, so she could watch him being a creep. Creep-ish, kind of staring at her butt. Oh. Um. And there's a twist that Rize is actually the ghoul. Causing the incidents in the area. Feeding. Yeah, so she's not a nice girl. Hmm, this was called Tokyo Ghoul Re. I was surprised I had someone at starting with this because this is the beginning of Tokyo Ghoul. Tokyo Ghoul Re is after Tokyo Ghoul. It is a sequel series. So that doesn't really showcase it very well, but as she was about to kill and feed on him, still beams fall. And that's what happened. Kaneki and Rize end up in the hospital. And he gets her organs transplanted into him. And that is what then makes him become a half ghoul. Good lord, now it's literally just text without even screenshots. Oh my god, I... This is actually worse than what I thought it would be because I saw the cutscenes of the gameplay and I was not. I was hoping they'd improve it more before release, but the screenshots that came out right around the time of the release date were not giving me much hope. But now to also see that the story is being told with screenshots of the anime or redrawn on anime the images basically. And text paragraphs is not fun. I will read this since it is not even voiced over. Uh, or at least skim it. Uh, being attacked by Rize, Kaneki Henley was then saved upon receiving her organs via transplant. As a result, Ken, I call him Kaneki, was turned into a one-eyed ghoul. Half ghoul, half human hybrid. In order to live as a ghoul, he began working at a small cafe called Enteku. Oh my god, they're literally skimming over so much of him freaking out. And while there, a ghoul organization known as the Agori Tree appeared and attacked him. After being taken to their hideout, he endured extreme torture at the hands of the school well known as Yamori, also known as Jason. Because he has a Jason mask. And wow, they literally skipped over. They introduced the beginning of the story and now they're skipping over so much <laughs> oi Gertie, it takes him really going to that point to get him to really capture his ability but is this him being tortured or is this prior or after the torture this is where I was tortured okay this is after the torture so they're not going to have the county back from 1000 by 7 
yeah. So, in the process of literally being driven insane, his hair turns white. Might have also been part of the half ghoul thing. Not fully sure why it turns white. It does, though. And it's neat. There he is. Oh. So he's still in process of being tortured? So Jason has to go out and fight the doves, aka the ghoul fight force of the world, because good lord, they haven't even introduced that part of it yet. Now Jason wants to feed on Kaneki and kill him, but Kaneki has now had enough. <laughs> They have introduced almost nothing in terms of Google powers, abilities. <sighs> Are we getting into actual game? Gosh, you're not doing great. Oh my god, the first gameplay part is fighting Yamori. Okay. Okay, move, rotate camera. Normal, unique attack, unique attack 2. LX is evade. R2, enable, disable, lock on. L2, range attack mode. Unique action 3. You basic controls with options. Okay. Okay. Want me to do it? <sighs> Not doing that last minute. I don't know what you want. Fucking tutorial. I am doing the lock on evade shit. I forgot Jason's thing looked like this, and I'm gonna call him Jason just because that's what I remember him as. Do the jumping attack? Oh. It just said a unique attack, it didn't say jumping. Certainly, when you land unique hits on enemies with shields or high defense. Hold to charge. Oh, that's neat. Is that this? Oh, L1. Can't move yet. <gasps> oh my god! I would have rather them done this over the screenshots. Had these PNG image <laughs> kind of images on the title screen, on the menu screens. Oh my god, you have the assets. Just paste them over a couple places to make it a little bit more visually interesting. Plus 1000 minus 7. 993. <laughs> 
Wait, what? To perform a follow attack, I can approach a KO near death enemy. Turn rest, press R1. Okay. So now that I'm in somewhat of a gameplay mode, and this is going to be me moving around and not talking over the audio, this is literally nothing is here, but it is a room that exists. Okay. Um, my issue in terms of the series with the manga and the anime aspects of it is, okay, that's just to attack. It is less of a issue with it itself. It is more of an issue with... Oh, okay, there's more bits for the random enemy. Press L2 and R2. Trigger an action against a target enemy. Oh, that's just... Okay. where you're coming from oh and damn it but my issue really lies in the fact that I started with the anime and then got really into it and then when I went on to like tumblr to see people having fun about the anime was nothing but manga fans shitting on the anime and that's kind of where my issue fell into the series of I enjoy it, I really like it, but I would have to say that the fandom killed a lot of my joy in it. Technically these are all out go to Yules, so I don't know why this is considered... So that was sort of my experience with that, and it was not a fun experience to say the least. It was just sort of a lot of my enjoyment got ruined due to what understandably in some degree was fans who were upset by the state of it, but it's just like, in terms of adaptations, it wasn't bad. It really isn't. It leaves out some bits, it omits some parts of it, but when you are dealing with a 12 episode, I believe it was. Okay, I can't hear anymore. Uh, yeah, 12 episode adaptation it has to make some of those changes. You aren't getting a one piece level detailed kind of series. You're getting a short adaptation that's not going to cover everything in the same level of detail that the original would. It's just not gonna happen. And it doesn't happen. And I don't understand why 
it was even something that might have been expected of it. Because it really... I would never. Like, even knowing the series, it's, it would have not happened. Ever. You're dealing with a niche genre, being that it is considered horror due to the body so horror aspects of it. And... So it's not gonna have what you entirely want. Okay. Oh god, generic ghoul enemy number three! It's literally they're just giving these OC kind of characters. Other characters. Limits. Or version. Okay. Still don't have the passcode thing. And I might say generic, but it is legitimately kind of generic as there were very few characters that I remember having. They're all sort of similar in style to a degree, as in the art style is some of the same, so of course it would be. But there's also the... That not hold that, I tapped it twice. But they are somewhat unique to the character. And I think the only ones that usually have similar were people with blood relation. So, two characters that are siblings have very similar. And that makes sense. And I don't remember what it's freaking called. And the story isn't telling, saying what the thing is. Am I not supposed to try and fight this dude? I maybe shouldn't. But hey. I could just do this. Maybe. It <laughs> let me do it. Cool. I wonder if he still follows me. Maybe not. It'd be funnier if he followed me. Oh, and get away with so much with the generic mass and just randomly other cloaks. Granted, I don't get the idea of putting them in a different cloak color just because they are not seemingly doing anything different. If it was like, hey, this version of the enemy ha is slightly stronger. This version of the enemy only uses guns. Okay. I don't know how to get over to you. Can I climb? Yeah, you can. Oh, so as I dropped and did that auto attack or auto did that special kind of attack okay now there's one that's slightly different yeah and literally these are all ghouls if they are no ghouls then I seriously question everything I know about the series because as far as I remember there were no human helpers to the ghouls. It was just ghouls.
And here's another generic enemy! Because it's not any main character. It's honestly through this. And I actually say this, and I'm going to maybe regret it in the future, but I think whatever game they do in the future should be a fighting game. Like I said, each character actually has unique abilities, and even two of the similar ones use their abilities differently, so they can still have completely different movesets, even while having a similar style of fighting. And really, it would be a better game. And literally have it be fighting game. And you can even do a story mode if it's going through the story. And that way it's only interesting fights and not this hallway. And that's really what I think. Off the top. After playing just a few. This is still. We're in first mission territory. And I am already kind of done. <laughs> and I bought it. I bought it on release even. I'm an idiot. Partly because I bought it on release over two months ago. Because it came out in November. And it was also coming out on the same day as things like Pokemon. And things that I knew I was going to play over this. And bought it anyway. guessing there's a timer for me being able to get to this door. Hey, look at that! I made it. You fucker! I totally made it there, and there was an invisible wall. Because it was just too close to the end there. Door already passed. Head for the exit. Let's do that. Oh, big guy in. I bet I can make it past him. Okay, now it's saying I have to beat him. Beat him earlier and get that finished sooner. Or a second one just shows up. <laughs> oh, I'm only gonna be playing through this first mission. See, now you're seeing Toka. Actually, you're not even seeing Toka. Because they didn't put the PNGs inside to show Toka. They just have her name. There's Ayato. And Ayato and Togo are who we're talking about of their siblings. And they have fairly similar. I don't even remember what they're called because the game isn't even saying what they're called. Or. 
If someone ever, if someone picked this game up wanting to know what Tokyo Ghoul is about, they're in for a trip. Because this explains nothing. Literally nothing. And if people were upset about oh, what the freaking anime did, I can only imagine. See, this is why I also felt a generic. Yeah, they both have that wing style. Ready? I thought they both could only use it as a one wing format. Or maybe that was only Toka. Okay. Kick me to the main menu. I'm away. I forgot about Noto. Okay. Is this following the manga timeline or is this following the anime timeline? The anime timeline goes weird for a bit. Oh, it's following the anime timeline. Oh my god, that was 14 minutes? It felt like longer. <laughs> That's bad. Take me back to the menu, honey, please don't make- Oh, thank god, it took me back to the menu. Whew. Okay. Here are a couple problems. Gameplay, not great. Doesn't- It's not horrid. It's not as horrid as I expected it to be. It's- lacks polish and I still definitely after playing this the structure of how they did this is not great and I think the reason that they are breezing through a lot of the starting Tokyo Ghoul stuff is for a couple of reasons it's a little bit slow paced and there's a lot of expositional talking as you basically get introduced to the world however that's important to introduce the world <laughs> and unfortunately this is not a series that goes well without it there's a lot of proper nouns involved ghouls ghoul weaponry ghoul uh locations of people's names and pseudo names and i'm not gonna say i hate this yet for what I expected, it's actually better in some aspects, at least in terms of the gameplay. The gameplay I expected to be almost unplayable. This is playable. It is passable in terms of playability. 
and whoever butchers the source material in a way that I think is less fun. I don't even know what to think. I knew I was going and not going to get a great experience with this game. But I don't even want to continue it because it's not even a full experience of the story in any way, shape, or form. If I have to read your description, I have to go into the collections to see the characters and see who these people are after they're introduced, then that's not good. And it saddens me a lot because I do want slightly more for this, but that is also why that I think it should be a fighting game a little bit more or something closer to even something closer to like the Naruto games and definitely still make that a fighting game even that aspect of the ultimate storm kind of games where it is essentially cutscenes even ripped straight from the anime of watch this and now go do this boss fight kind of thing would be so much better than running through corridors and finding generic enemy faces. It would be a better game overall if it was done in that format. And I think it loses a lot in this format. That's all for this one. I will not be playing this again. Maybe ever. Um, but Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.